Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm so glad that you're with me today and mostly just happy that you're studying the Bible, God's Holy Word. And uh, God loves for us to read His Word, to know about Him, His Son Jesus, and His ways. And when we study it, He's with us and promises us to guide us into all truth. And so that's why we always go to Him in prayer as we begin our study. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we just want to give you honor and thanks for who you are and what you've given to us in your word. We know that you want to teach us today, Lord, and so we're excited as we go before you and what you have to say to us. We ask you to guide us into all truth by your Holy Spirit, and Lord, help us to live according to that truth by giving us the power to do so as well. And we'll give you thanks for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Find Out of Whom Jesus Spoke. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 13, and verse 34. The apostle John wrote how Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spoke. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. And in chapter 13 and verse 24 of his book, John shared how Simon Peter asked John to find out of whom Jesus spoke. Where we read, Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spoke. The verse reads, Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him. John began with the word Simon Peter therefore, which means Simon, whose name means a little stone. Peter, which means a little rock or stone, then wherefore consequently, and on this account, beckoned to him or signifying by a nod to him of what he wanted John the Apostle to do. John shared how Jesus' disciple Simon Peter gave a nod to John the Apostle to do what he desired. The verse goes on to say that he should ask who it should be of whom he spoke. John continued with the words that he should ask, which means that John inquire and ascertain who it should be or which one of the disciples it would be of whom he spoke, which means who was the one Jesus said would betray him. John shared how Simon Peter wanted John the apostle to ask Jesus who the disciple was that would betray him. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Simon Peter was very interested in who would betray Jesus. He knew John the Apostle was near to Jesus, leaning on his chest, and so he asked John to find out which disciple would deliver him over to the authorities. Jesus knew all things leading to his sacrificial death upon the cross, and though he was aware of the one who would betray him, he allowed Judas to continue his plan. God was deliberate in his desire to save people from their sins. And he sent his son Jesus to pay the penalty for the sins of the world. Everyone who surrenders their life to him will be forgiven of their sins and granted everlasting life with God. And those who are wise will yield to him. Next time, John shares how he asked Jesus, who is it? And so read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.